So I have to play around with this circuit for a little bit. But, um, I changed the 10 nanofarads that's supposed to be here, and I put 100 nanofarads in. The reason why I've done this is because of the screeching, the squealing noise on the circuit. And I've also put a 22 nanofarad from the base here onto ground. Again, this has helped with that screeching sound. Right, let's get rid of it. Now, I've also This phone does have a big influence on this circuit. My other phone doesn't, but this one does. So the way things are at the moment. Yeah, there are a few stations. I've also got a connection. Uh, this here. Oh. This is connected to my earth, to my sockets. Which even though it improves the circuit tremendously, the um, reception, it also brings in a lot of noise that's on the, 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 um, yeah, the mains. I tried with different antennas, at the minute this is the part that I'm using, I tried with this, this actually does work a little bit better, that's not so good. I tried using the ferrite rods and there is a big difference. Um, using ferrite rods in actual fact, this is... This was for something else, because I've had to be reading up on a lot of this stuff. Um, it's maybe I've other ideas of... Which is all well and good, because this will... Um, the field lines cutting through these turns will be amplified a lot I say that's not amplified as such this has just got a high permeability compared to one which air has this has got lots but then there's that hysteresis thing because it doesn't quite you know there's a, a time delay in the signals so um, but I'm not really going to play with this one too much um, anymore because I need to move on and build something else but it is going to be a circuit that I've put up. I'll reuse this um, and of course the tuning capacitor. Uh, but I'll put it up for future future playing with as I learn more and, and learn, you know, get into the subject a bit more. I've been reading lately. Um, over the last few months I've just been doing a lot of reading. Uh, electronics. Because even though it's all good, you know, sitting up playing with the circuits and finding them online and building them and getting experience with components and reading them and reading circuits and and you know, it's absolutely brilliant. Don't get me wrong, playing around, I've built lots and lots and lots of circuits over the last 18 months and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. But there's a whole lot of uh, theory as well, which I want to know because I want to be able to see the electrons. No, I don't mean like see them in, in front of my eyes or... But I, I want to be able to envisage how the circuit works because uh, it gets quite frustrating for me when I can't. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, here's the, here is the circuit. Now I got this circuit from Talking Electronics but at this minute in time my internet is not working. Hopefully by the time I've read done this, this will be, but as you can see there's the circuit, um, this here was 10 nanofarads and I put 100 nanofarads in, and the base to ground here 20 nanofarads, you may not find that you need it, I've got a funny feeling that uh, a lot of the noise that's coming off this may be down to noisy components. Um, and of course, you know, my aerial um, and the capacitor isn't tuned as such. I'm still trying to work out how you do that. I have seen people use a small capacitor and use the oscilloscope, and I did do that. And yeah, you can, but I'm trying to tune in this 
420 picofarad at its maximum capacity with a coil. I can't seem to get that to work or get myself on, so I know that I'm around the right frequency for these AM um, receiving. But that will come in the future, I'm sure. That will come in the future. Uh, but right now, I want to just finish this video, put this out of the way, and get on and do something else. Something that I can get a bit more success with. But even though this is doing a little bit of success, it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not like it's not like a normal bought radio. Not that I should think it should be. I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna get off. Right. Uh, okay, guys. Well, cheers for watching, and I shall come up with something a bit better for the next one.